Welcome, welcome you all to 15 Minutes Food for Thought. Listen, tonight we're going to have a conversation um, that I think you guys will enjoy. And I think you all can relate. To it. It is coming from Psalms 46, verse 10. But before we get into it, let's introduce, I'm about to call them the cast, but <laughs> it is the, the girls, it is your sisters in Christ. Um, we have Kelly Armour. Hello. Robin McCoy. Hello. And Deborah Morgan. Hello. So, like I said, we are coming from Psalms 46, verse 10. So, um, it was interesting. Last week, I um, came across a scripture. I passed it. I don't know if you ever (laughs) across a scripture or something. And it repeats to you very loud and clear, right? Mm -hmm. Through messages, dreams. Um, it could even like through watching the TV show, just something very simple. So like a message I think was really trying to get through, get our attention. So Deborah, I told her about the scripture um, and she said, interesting, you know, this is what popped up on my timeline. And oh my God. So it was just like popping. So I said, you know what? I think this is, this is the scripture. I believe God is saying, okay, let's talk about it. Right. All right. So, as I was saying, it says, be still and know that I am God. Now, when you do hear the scripture, you know, the first thing that comes to my mind, okay, God, I want, I need to rest. I need to know, okay, first of all, you are the architect of our lives. You created us. You know everything that's going to happen from the beginning to the end and in between I mean like I'm really clueless and when I I don't know sometimes what is going on from day to day you know and you just really walking by faith so as I was researching more I came across where someone else gave a commentary about this scripture and ladies I don't know what you guys are I can't wait to hear your perspective, but they say, you know, sometimes, not that you want to take the scriptures out of context, no, but it can hit you in a way that I believe is God is not, um, it may speak to you in a different way. But one of the commentaries, he did say, you know, it's not so much be still, that is good and it is encouraging you, but it was talking about the enemies. And if you really look at the world today, you know, there is concern. Okay, with this Russia, Ukraine situation, how is that going to impact you? How is that mm-hmm. going to impact the country? And it does make you think, okay, it was really, the message was trying to tell saints, believers, hey, be in awe of God because this is his world. This is not our world. This is his world. And so whatever he's doing behind the scenes, how he's working, making things happen, we still have to be in awe of God and knowing mm-hmm. that he is going to take care of us um, um, because there's a lot and, and Christians are afraid and fearful, you know, and, and may have lost hope because you don't know what's going on um, from day to day sometimes. So at the end of the day, we really do have to trust God, be in awe of his majesty, everything about mm-hmm. him. Oh, you know, I can go on. <laughs> right. Okay. So ladies, who wants to go first? Share your point of view. <laughs> I see Robin over there bubbling. I see her too. <laughs> I can uh, wait. I can okay. Wait. Well, hey, well, you okay. know, hey, come <laughs> Kelly coming in. <laughs> but now I like this chapter too. And I'm with you, Angela, how with everything going on, you know, all this craziness, all this chaos from just from gas prices to food, just to people just being just so wicked on some points and just all kind of craziness going on. I can go on and on, but reading this, God is showing, it started in the previous chat verses, how all this chaos going on, but God is telling, hey, in our words he's saying be still so like in our words kind of just chill out i got you you know um that even though everything is going on when all said and done i'm gonna be the one that's in charge i'm gonna continue to stay as god's words exalted of course meaning 
you know, kind of powerful or exalting can mean joyous. It can mean, you know, powerful, thoughtful, but it, God is saying, no matter what's going on, I'm continuously going to be praised. I'm the Alpha and Omega. I'm mm. going to always be there. But at the same time, well, with all our other scriptures, he's still giving you that choice, though, to choose. He's telling you right in there, no matter what, whether you choose me or not, I'm going to be exalted no matter what, from the heaven to the earth, from the beginning to the end. So reading this is telling you, yeah, it's going on. I'm there. So just know me and when he's saying know me he's saying like develop a relationship with me mm -hmm. you know so you can understand yes yeah, going on but no matter what i'm always there but you got to choose so hopefully listen to everyone that you choose wisely and choose the lord and develop your relationship with him because if you do it's going to change your whole thought process and you're going to love it so that's what i got out of it I love that, Kelly. Change that that mindset, right? Um, mm -hmm. very, thank you, Kelly. Yes. Believe me, and this is true. <laughs> I'm a witness. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tag. I'll jump in where uh, where Kelly um, mentioned. I started at the very first verse, and mm -hmm. it said to the chief mus musician, a psalm of the sons of Korah, and in different versions that is a part of verse one and so he says god is our our refuge and strength and a very present help in the time of trouble therefore we will not fear and then he talks about even though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried away into the sea and i was like Okay, so we need to go back and what? why is Korah going here? And so if you go back to Numbers chapter 16, you will see that his great grandfather was Korah and he was in opposition to Moses and he rebelled against Moses. So the whole community and his relatives saw the earth open up and swallow them. Mm. And so <laughs> it's just like he's he's reflecting on that. But then that, that ends and it has that word Selah. That means to pause in his presence. But I took away that we can learn from the mistakes of our ancestors, that we don't have to fall, fall in the same pattern, that as we develop our relationship with the Lord, he can use us. So this son of Korah becomes a Levite who's in charge of the music, who's in charge of the worship. And he's saying to be still and know that he is God, because I read like you, Angie, I read this one commentary. I wasn't going to go here, but since you brought it up, <laughs> like sometimes the be still means in Hebrew, it means to sit down, relax, or to quiet yourself. And sometimes we are in an opposition or argument with God with our own thoughts. Mm -hmm. And I thought about it like, should I take this job? Should I move over here? Should I? And the Lord is just saying, stop, stop being in opposition. And just like Kelly said, chill out, sit down, know me, and I, I, I'm going to get you through this. Mm -hmm. And I also saw in here where they kept using the words we and our back to our original conversation. Everything is in community. Mm -hmm. So we need the Lord and we need each other because as Angie said, when she read that scripture to me, man, I'm just scrolling on Instagram <laughs> and a, a ring popped up and on the ring, it said, be still. I was like, oh Lord. And then maybe a couple of days later, not from the same site, a necklace popped up and said, be still. And I took that as a message from the Lord because I have something laid before him and I'm arguing with him in my mind. Should mm. I do this? Should I do that? And he said, be still. <laughs> and no like it's together you can't separate them you got to be still and you have to know that he is God and That's he's right. going to be exalted and I love that when we're still how it says Selah or however you want to pronounce that that you need to just pause in his presence relax and let him direct us and guide us because whatever we're whatever choice we make as we're led by the Holy Ghost his name is going to be exalted. That's so that's right. what I got. I know that was a mouthful. <laughs> we can keep going on and on with this verse. <laughs> but that was, yeah, 
all on point. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, Robin. So I, I read some commentaries too. And um what stood out is like, you know, like they're in a war. And in our present nation right now, you know, we're seeing that there are wars all around us and rumors of war, you know, and you kept saying the word sila, sila. And I learned that that was kind of like a no disrespect to the word or anything, but this is how it was taught to me is that a cow, you know, how they have the couple stomachs and they chew, they're constantly chewing because they, they need to chew their food a certain type of way and re-chew it and then do certain things to it. And I learned that sila meant just that, stop, go back, re-chew this again. You know, because when you are in the midst of a battle, whether it's mental, emotional, physical, you know, you sometimes mm -hmm. forget, at least I, I'm just speaking for myself, you just sometimes yes. forget, you know, and then like Sister Angie was saying, you, you, you know, you become fearful because you're looking at what the, it's seeming that the enemy is getting the upper hand, you know, but when you're just chill out, stop it all and just go back, re-chew the word, you know, like that mm -hmm. Shad said, talk, check your self-talk, you know, yes. and then, and I'm going back to the commentary because they said, sometimes you forget God's status. You know, you see the kingdom of man doing all of this stuff, but you forget God's status. And I couldn't <laughs> tell you what else went past that because I had to stop and go <laughs> to, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and lift it up and so mm -hmm. that just brought me right back then regardless keep god's status <laughs> let him be who he is remind myself of what he's done and if i forget go to my community and if something mm -hmm. is coming out of this right here that don't sound like the word sounds or sounds like i forgot how his he has brought me through thus far and just another day then I need my community to rally around me to say, hey, garbage is coming out of your mouth. <laughs> I'm not a garbage can. I'm not a garbage receptacle. So I will not receive that. And neither will I allow you to pollute the atmosphere with the trash coming out of your mouth. So clean up your thoughts. So you can clean up your mouth <laughs> so that you can get life. What's the verse that Sister Debbie had us do? <laughs> out of the mouth. <laughs> so... That's what I got out of it. That I just because you know, again, it's like sometimes you just forget. You know, you get nervous. You you like, oh, you know, should I take the job? Like Sister Debbie said, should I move here? Should should the kids go here? Did, did I make the right decision? Did I give wise counsel when my mm -hmm. child asked me yes. this? You know, just yes. so many things. You know, oh, that, preach, Robin. Oh, preach, I'm sorry, I'm stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> It's so much I really yeah. think about. And I think we talked about this and even those questions and you ask those questions. Okay, God, am I making the right decision? But then he says in Romans 8, 28, all things work together for the good of those who love God and call to God. Oh, yeah. oh, mm -hmm. so it's like, oh my God. So even in that, even if you made a wrong choice, God is still going about to turn you right back around get you on track. <laughs> as long as you are still lifting him up mm -hmm. i mean okay you guys i told you we can go on and on um but we try to keep it to a certain amount of time yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh god got some out of this because as kelly and debbie and robin came mm -hmm. dropping some gems um and they're speaking just life so the bottom line is whoever is in your community Make sure they're solid. Yes. Make sure they have a hearing a voice from God. You don't want nobody who just uh, this is the season. Be careful who you community. <laughs> Clean up your community. You know. So um, we just want to say a word of prayer um, before we close out. Or did anyone else have anything else to say? Just one mm -hmm. last thing. You know, I have to say this just to to the community. Just remember the scripture says that God, he's, he is a very present help. Yes. You know, we're in a time of trouble. We're not alone. And we got to remember that. I'm, you know, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, 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 we'll, <laughs> save, <laughs> because, we'll save it for part two. <laughs> no, because, I, no, because I, I, when you said that, I, you know, some people in this season, you, I hope we hope you don't feel alone because the yes. Bible is faithful because he says that he places the solitary in families. Mm -hmm. so it may not look like your family may not look, be the same color, 
be of mm. the same, you know, democr- you know, it's just, he is the author and the creator and the architect. So if you're open to allowing him to place you in that godly family, you know, then you, you know, your life can be blessed. You know, you can be a blessing to them then they can be a strength and encouragement and a blessing to your life. And I'm a living witness mm-hmm. to that, the truth of that, t- that word. So God be praised. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right. No, no. Um, <laughs> well, thank you so much for giving your perspectives and um, thank you all to the audience. Whoever will watch this video, may you be blessed, encouraged to keep looking forward towards God and knowing that God got your back. As Sister Kelly mentioned, God, at the end of the day, chill out. (laughs) (laughs) You know. um, (laughs) Okay, so we're going to say a word of prayer. Dear God, we thank you, Father, for tonight's lesson. Mm -hmm. Just remind us to be still and know that you are God. And in whatever situation, God, even as Debbie mentioned about the enemy and where sometimes we play the role of the, because of the inner me and we're struggling and we're going back and forth with you, God. And um, sometimes we just need to shut up and be quiet. So God help us to be still when we are challenged, faced with challenges that are testing our faith, testing us in a way that it scares us. It gives us anxiety, but God, yes would give us peace as we pause so we thank you god for that thank you god for what you're doing so whoever will watch this video may you be encouraged to know that god got your back he loves you um may you tune in to your community we are your community and we thank you thank you for being a part of it in jesus name amen 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 well (laughs) <laughs> well, if you, uh, if you don't know God, may you really tune in to know who he is. Ask God to be your Lord and Savior, you know, to share with him your heart, mm-hmm. he the heart already. And so with you even apologizing, like, God, forgive me. God, claim me, cleanse me, mm-hmm. whatever it is. Because at the end of the day, we want you all to know that it's all about Jesus Christ um, and that you have a personal relationship with him. Okay, so I can go on. We'll be we we'll have part two, part three. So Lord forgive me. Okay. So, uh, don't forget to like, share, you know, subscribe. Y'all know what to do. Share with somebody, tag a friend mm-hmm. or whatnot. Mm-hmm. And uh, we see you all next time. Um, next week. Oh, okay, who is it? It's Robin, right? Yes. Yes, uh, Robin McCoy. You know it's gonna be a good one. Okay, see you all. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. Again, we thank you for listening to 15 Minutes Food for Thought. If you enjoyed today's topic, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and join our group on Facebook. Our prayer is that you were blessed today with practical principles that you can apply to your daily living. We'll see you next week.